All right, time to start some serious coding. Been having a bit of audio issue where I'm recording, and I'm seeing that the audio is uh, the the audio thing is the encoder actually is overloading. So I know that that's gonna crack up the audio and all of that. But I think that was a result of starting the development server. So what I did was I just have it open here whenever I'm actually ready to do this. So it takes a while. Especially that we have view, uh, Vidify and Vidify is a bit heavy on, uh, yeah, overall. So therefore, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some coding. I'm gonna start the server, and uh, yeah, we can move on from there. Now, there's a couple of things that I need to do, and uh, let me open this folder. And in the view here, I'm gonna add a new, a new folder called the dashboard, because that should be obvious and a new file called index that uh, view because once we leave uh the once we've registered our login then therefore automatically the next step is just to go to the dashboard so i'm gonna call this dashboard and uh, that's a folder and the file here is going to be index view and i'm also going to cheat a little bit and copy some code just to speed up the process again, I want to speed things up, and I'm I've moved uh, to my trusty Firefox browser. So let me just go to readify.com. My other browser is very slow. My other browser, in a sense, actually, actually, I think this is. I should just go to view two here I'll go to the pre-made layout and I am going to open uh, I think it's on the sandbox I'm gonna open I'm gonna open it I'm just gonna copy the code from code pen well if you want to see what it looks like then you just click on this button here if you're like following along or whatever this will show you the code but i already know what it looks like and when i uh implement it then you're going to also see what it looks like so i'm gonna skip some of those steps because i want to move uh, a little bit faster all right so template And we have the script, we have all of that, so that's great. Let me just clear this out so we don't need it. And let me fix all of that code there. And then I am going to go back into here, maybe later. And I'm going to copy all of this here and paste in here. So just before I do that, we're going to create a data object that returns a, well, a data function that returns an object. So let's paste that there and uh, indent this a little bit. So that's that. And I am going to save this and then we can run the server and look at what it looks like. So npm run server. Well, before I do that, I, I need to register this thing also. So let me just go ahead and go to here. And, uh, and I'm gonna register, let's copy this. And uh, change this to dashboard, obviously. This to dashboard and this to uh, dashboard slash and this should be the, the file which is index.view and uh, this here I'm going to change it to dashboard and this also to dashboard and uh, what I want to do also is on the sign in 
well, it's not here, it will be in the, actually in the components folder. So in here, I am going to go ahead and uh, make a link to, to that. So because I we're not implementing the backend just yet, I'm just gonna go ahead and just let it be easier for me to navigate to and from the, the log, well, the home page to the dashboard. So this should be the name, and uh, this should be I think this the name of dashboard of it. Normally, I would have it in capital when I'm using the other uh, framework. Oh, it's a uh, capital, the capital, which is good, which is perfect. Well, I prefer to have it as capital letters. So let me just change it to dashboard. So that's the name that we're going to. And it's better to do this because it will directly go to the page that you're going to. You could just put a slash dashboard, but I prefer to do this. So let me just go ahead and save all of this. And uh, we should be good from there. Then I'm going to go ahead and run the server. All right, there we go. So this has started, but unfortunately I have to run because I have uh, another appointment now. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to here and just show you, well, just check if it actually works at least. All right, so, all right. I had made a bit of change. I didn't even remember that I had I had done this, but the, the the name has been changed. We have found the name, so it's tutorial, and the URL is now tutorial tutorial that Netlify the app, which I'm going to show you when I push this code to Git uh, to GitHub. So you can see now we have this dashboard here, which is pretty amazing. Uh, this does that, and some of the rest of functionalities I'm gonna put them in a settings area so that. Uh, that will be much uh, better in a sense. We have a dark theme, which I really, really love. And uh, there are some other stuff which I'm gonna uh, like that and have it floating, but these won't, you won't see them as good until I add like content to the dash uh, section that the dashboard should um, show there. Like the links and stuff like and icons. And, I don't know, this is pretty awesome. The, this will edit the footer, you won't see it all that great. Well, I'm not seeing it all that great until I change it to the dark theme, which I highly prefer. You can see how amazing this is, like, it's really cool. So I'm gonna add some stuff to this, but I have to go like now. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to stop the server here. Stop the server and then I'm gonna do a git add on and I'm gonna commit this change that a change uh well not change I added a dashboard I did not push this, so hit push. All right, so because Hero cool, well, not Hero. So because my Netlify app, uh, my Netlify account is linked to my GitHub, it should automatically update. So if I now go to tutorial that notify the app because I changed the URL as I mentioned before, it should update. All right. All right. So it doesn't. It hasn't updated just yet. So I'm just gonna give it a. A little bit more time 
and uh, I'm going to do a refresh. Still nothing, but oh, it, it, this hasn't even updated it, so just give it a second. It's, it's probably building now, so let's just give it a second. All right, let me just go ahead and refresh this now. All right, there we go. So you can see the tutorial has been updated. And if I now click on this, it will take me to the dashboard and all of this still works. So that is pretty cool. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.